Good evening, good evening. This is Rashad Mitchell coming to you live from my YouTube channel as I continue on my part series. Understanding Black Music History Part 303. The moments and events that took place in Black Music History for January 29th. Let's get into it. January 29th, the number one R&B song in 1955 was Sincerely by the Moon Glows. January 29th, 1952, one of the best known artists, writers of his day, bluesman, Willie Dixon, died of a heart attack in Burbank, California. January 29th, 1960, Brooke Benton, Benton was the headliner at the Apollo Theater. 1967, January 29th, the Jimi Hendrix Experience performed at London's famed Savelle Theater with The Who. 1977, January 29th, 1977, Natalie Cole charted with I've Got Love on My Mind. Reaching number five, pop, number one on B for five weeks. It would be her biggest hit of a career, 18 pop hits and 31 R&B winners in 1997. The record was also her fourth number one of her five, first five chart singles. 1994, January 29th, James Ingram began a tour of Asia starting in Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia. 1994, January 29th, Mary Wilson of the Supremes was seriously injured, though she recovered in a car accident on a California highway. And finally, in 1998, January 29th, Bobby Brown was convicted on drunk driving charges in the Fort Lauderdale court. The judge sentenced Brown to five days in jail along with having to attend UI school. He also had to submit to random drug alcohol testing and spend 30 days in an alcohol drug rehab facility. Along with that, he had to pay $500 in fines, was ordered to serve 100 hours of community service, along with the one-year suspension of his driver's license. So that concludes a look at January 29th, part 303 of On This Day in Black Music History. Please like subscribe to the channel. Do video over the Smack 2 tomorrow. Until then, talk to you soon.